Welcome to part 2 of how to solve a Rubik's Cube blindfolded using M2 for the edges and old parchment for corners. Um, in this part I'm going to teach you how to solve all the 8 corners in a cube using old parchment and how to uh, move them around using the Y perm and setup moves. Now in part 1 if you remember I posted a scramble for you to do so you can follow along um, with my example I'm giving. However, this scramble didn't cover cover all the special cases and possibilities that I'm going to be teaching you. So I came up with a new one, and here it is. Just pause the video, rescramble it, and then let's continue. Okay, once you're done that, it should look like this. Now I forgot to mention you have to scramble it with red on front and white on top. So let's begin. The first algorithm I taught you was the Y perm, which looks like this. I hope you got comfortable with it because you have to be able to do it at lightning speed without even thinking about it. I also hope you get really comfortable with your color scheme. Know that orange is going to be at the back, blue on the left, green on no, blue on the right, green on the left, yellow on the bottom. This is really really important because h half the memorization is part visual, but I'm going to get to that in another part. So, let's let's go. The Y perm switches the right side of this. This will be the buffer position with the white side of this, the buffer piece. So we're going to bring whatever's here all the way to the back up here. So this is the white, orange, green to solve the, because this is already in position. It's done. Now to apply this on the cube and use it to solve the eight corners, we're going to use setup moves to bring the pieces into the correct position. Because we can't just keep doing the Y perm over and over and over by itself because it's only going to keep switching these two. So we have to use setup moves so that it, we can use it to switch up more than just two pieces. And just switch these two, for example. So here's a, a basic idea. When solving the corners using old parchment, you're going to start by looking at the back top left corner here and seeing where it has to go. We see that it's a green sticker, so we know it's going to belong somewhere on the left here, on one of the four corners because green's on the left. So then we look at the other two. It's the green, yellow, orange. So because we know green's on the left, orange on the back, yellow on bottom, we know it belongs all the way back here. Now we also saw that since green's on top, it's the green side of wherever it has to go. So it's exactly right here. Even though that's a white sticker and the green's over here, we're ignoring whatever colors are here. We just know that this corner belongs on the green side of this position. So we have to bring this all the way over to our buffer position here which is what the Y perm switches. So in this case, our setup move would be D2 to bring it all the way over to here. And then we're going to use the Y perm to switch it and then undo our setup moves. So that's the rule. You're going to bring the pieces into the, right, the buffer position, the right side of this here. It can't be here. It can't be here. It has to be the blue side. Switch it out and then undo our setup moves. So let's try our example. Okay, in our example scramble, we're going to start by looking at the back top left, just like before. You see it's the white sticker, so it belongs somewhere up here. And then the other two colors are blue-red. So it belongs in between white, blue, red, which is right here. Now, we saw that it's the white side, so we have to get wherever the white side is to here. And knowing that white's on top, that's this sticker right here. So we have to get this sticker, even though it's not white, it, belong it is the white side. We get that to the right side of here, our buffer position, which is F. Okay? The rules for setup moves, you can only turn the F face, the right face, and the down face. You can't turn anything else, just F, D, and R, like the president. So, F, Y perm, undo setup, and you can see it's solved. Now I'll do one more, I'm gonna be really short on time, so I can only do a few, and hopefully you can just try out the rest yourselves. Now we look up here again, and it's the green, it's green, so it belongs somewhere here. The other two colors are yellow-orange, so that tells us it belongs all the way back here, between the green, yellow, and orange. And we only know this because we know our color scheme, which I told you to get down, like, memorized really well. So green, yellow, orange belongs in this position, and since green is on top, we're, we're dealing with this sticker here, because it's the green face. So we have to get this sticker into our buffer position, the blue side of this corner. So the setup moves, if you follow this sticker, are D2. That brings it in position. Then we're going to use the Y perm to switch it, and then undo D2. This is just like the example I showed you before. 
So it solves it like that, and this one's solved. You're going to continue to do that with all the other corners, so just try it out yourself, practice the setup moves, and you'll, you'll get the hang of it eventually. Now, as expected, there are certain special cases that you can get with this method. The first special case is where you're solving the corners just like normal, using the Y perm and setup moves, but then after you just solve one, say we just solved this one, the buffer piece, the one we look at, is solved as well. Even though it's not oriented properly, it's still in its correct position. The white, orange, green belongs here. So then we have a problem. It's not really a problem. But here's what you want to do when that happens. You're going to look at the cube. Well, you have to do this while you're memorizing. And you're going to um, think about which corners you haven't solved yet. In this case, we haven't solved these two back here. I just continued from the scramble of solving a couple more until we got this. So these are the only two corners unsolved. Now the rule is when this is solved, you're going to pick any corner unsolved and switch it out with the, the buffer piece. So since we have these two, we can pick any side. So that's six possibilities. Here, 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 here. All of those which we can bring to here and switch it out. The easiest would be, would be this piece because the setup is just R. If you, you can see that. Or you can do this piece back here, which is D prime. Okay, so we'll, we'll just do one of those, switch it out, and then undo that. Now we're going to continue like we normally would before. We look back here, and this is the orange of the orange, blue, white. So that tells us it be belongs back here somewhere, and it's this position. So it's the orange side, which is back here. We have to get this to here, our buffer position, by doing setup moves, R prime F. Switch it out, undo that. And then we just continue like before. So I'll just do this next one. And it, we're done. Now, how do you know you're going to be done? Well, you know you're going to be done when you find when you return back to the piece you chose to switch it out with. So, if you remember, or you can just rewind. Uh, when the buffer was solved, I decided to switch it out with here by doing R. And I know I'm completed all the corners once I return back to solving that piece. Even it doesn't have to be the same side. It can be a different side. Uh, it just has to be that same position. So I switched it out with this one, and then I continued normally, and then my next one was this one, and then I, my last one was this one again. So that's how we know we're, we're done. We switch it out, continue like normal, and when we get back to that one, we're 99% of the time done the corners. Okay, when I say 99% of the time, I mean actually 100 or mostly because there are cases where you can have to do that more than once, like the buffer gets solved two times. But for that, you just do the exact same thing. Switch it out with a different one. Now, special case number two. When you're do doing the corners, you have to keep track of how many Y perms you do. You can do this. You, uh, I like to do this once I'm done memorizing the corners. I just count how many I have. So you'll learn how to memorize in the next part. But if you, if you notice that you're, you've done an odd number of Y perms, you're going to have an edge parity. And in order to solve the edge parity, here's what we're going to do. Once we're done the corners... Before we do the edges, we're going to turn the cube to the right, and we're going to do the R perm that I told you about. And then we're going to turn it back to the left. And that's the edge parity. You don't really need to know what it does or exactly why you're doing it. Just follow the simple rule that if you do an odd number of Y perms for solving your corners, you're just going to turn it this way, R perm, turn it this way. And then to undo that, uh, to fix it, uh, the parity. I'll teach you how to do that in the next part for solving the edges. So special case number three. Okay, I'm going to show you this on a solved cube to make it easier. Um, the third special case is where you have a one other corner unoriented other than the buffer, like this one. It's in place, but it's unoriented. So there are two algorithms we're going to need to know to rotate these corners counterclockwise and clockwise. So this one has to be rota rotated counterclockwise because white has to go up here, green here, red here. So it's like a counterclockwise twist. So the algorithm for rotating a corner counterclockwise is like this. U R U prime R prime. Do that again. L prime. And then the opposite. R U R prime U prime. And then again. And then L. Pretty easy to remember. And then for doing a Clockwise is almost identical, but instead of doing UR first, you're going to do RU, R prime, U prime, again, L prime, and then UR, U prime, R prime, again, like that. That rotates it counterclockwise. 
So you're going to use those two to, to orient corners. Now, of course, that algorithm deals with these two corners on um, how they're rotated. However, you're not always going to have this one that's unoriented. It can be any corner. Like in this case, it's, it's this one. This needs to gro be rotated clockwise. So just like before, we're going to bring this one. Uh, not, don't, ignore just like before. We're going to bring this up to here this time with setup moves. And then use the algorithm to rotate it wherever it has to go. Which in this case is clockwise. We, we noticed that before. So then we're going to use the clockwise algorithm. And then undo setup. And that not only fixes the orientation of this one, but the buffer. Because if you have one unoriented, the buffer will be two. So hopefully with that, you can know how to solve the corners. I'm a little over the timeline, but that's okay. So go ahead and look for part three, how to solve the edges.